Hello everyone, my name is Marcos. Welcome to the fourth part of the AI tutorial series for Game Maker Studio 2. In this part, we'll be doing the OBJ enemy, as you probably want, wanted to do it in the past videos. So let's create it just. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to create it like that. I'm going to duplicate the OBJ player, as we said in the first videos. So, duplicate, and I'm going to name it OBJ Enemy. I'm going to change this sprite, and now I'm going to open this because we want to implement some variables such as the X move that I talked about in the last videos, and we're going to set it to 1. And uh, we also, I, I also want to do something in the OBJ player. I want to go to the step event and below everything I'm just going to delete all these spaces I'm going to say image uh, x scale equals to sign of the x speed plus 0. I don't know 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.00001 why is this? because the sign uh, is equals to minus one, one, or zero. If we set the x scale to zero, obviously the sprite disappears. I mean, although the x speed is equals to zero, if I sum this quantity, it's not going to be sine zero because it's going to be positive. So, <clears throat> uh, what I want to do now is uh, to go to the enemy and let me check the step event we don't want this because we already got the input but <clears throat> I'm sorry what I want to do I, I'm going to remind you that uh, the calculate input gets the X speed so we want to calculate the X speed with the existing parameters to do that, we're going to say x speed is equals to um, left plus right times the speed. So once once I oh my god like that once we've got this the x speed, then we're going to calculate the input, and now we're going to calculate the x speed again just to make sure with the left and right uh, well calculated now we're we're going to do also the image what we what we did just right here and I'm going to copy paste it here so it changes direction this sprite um, now I'm going to just leave this because we already did that upside um, mm, I'm going to leave this as it is and I'm just going to say I'm just going to say uh, the x speed times equals x move Remember the x move variable allows or or denies the x speed movement. So now we're going to uh, well, in fact, let me go back and I'm going to check the uh, the x move before the the jump because we we also want this piece of code uh, to check if it can jump. The AI so just X speed times equals X move like that now these vertical and horizontal collisions I'm going to cut delete this and paste it in a new event that's going to be the end step I, I'm doing it here because it uh, looked like more efficient I don't know I really don't know why but it looked more efficient so I think that's it and that uh, we 
can try it. Yeah, let's try it. I'm nervous because I don't know if it will work. I'm going to make the room a little bit com more complex with some things here. I'm just going to pause the video and make my own room. Okay, so I set it like this. It's not it's, it's not a perfect map map, but it'll do. So just play and see how it works. Okay, so it follows me and it goes upstairs and downstairs and it seems like it's working. If if someone had an error or whatever, just comment it down below and I'll try to fix it. Cause I probably missed something. It's really easy to miss something. So I hope you like these videos and if you liked please subscribe and I hope you learned something new. And as I said, comment down below if you have any doubts and see you in the next one. Goodbye.